Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk football, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, it is the day before Thanksgiving. Let me just wish everyone here a very heartfelt, happy Thanksgiving. Um... I hope you have a lot of great food. I hope you're with a lot of great family and a lot of great friends. I hope it's enjoyable. Let's try to make this weekend enjoyable from a gambler's perspective. I have three picks here. Two money line, one over under. Let's start with the over under. I like the over 48 and a half points. Again, the over 48 and a half points in the Tampa Bay Buccaneer Jacksonville Jaguar game. Let's talk about it. Tampa, for all the interceptions, has an elite offense that has topped 410 total yards in three of their last four games. Let me just say, of those last four games, all four games had a point total of over 50 points. Right? Understand the over under for this game is 48 and a half. Right? All four of Tampa's last games, you've scored, had total points, scored of over 50 points. Let me also say, too, it's underreported, but Jacksonville's defense has collapsed the last two games, where they've given up 33 and 42 points. Let me also say, if you go back, one more game to look at their last three games you'll see that they've given up 400 total yards in two of their last three games I'm expecting a lot of points to be put on the board I like the over 48 and a half points next I like the Chargers laying a point on the road in Denver you know, I know Philip Rivers in a nationally televised game looked terrible, right? Playing out of Mexico. But understand, the Chargers this week are coming off a bye. Let's also go back to that game against Kansas City. You know, the Chargers had 438 offensive yards. 438 offensive yards. Right? They lost because they had four turnovers, because Phillip Rivers threw a lot of picks. But understand, they were moving the ball. Not only that, defensively. When you think about throwing for a lot of yards, you think about the reigning MVP. That's Pat Mahomes. Right? Did you know that the Chargers held Pat Mahomes not below 300 yards, but below 200 passing yards? KC only had 18 first downs that entire game. 18. Let me also say, go back the week before that Charger-KC game, and you'll see that the Chargers actually outplayed the Oakland Raiders. Right, I played them. They had 26 first downs to the Raiders, 18. But here again, they lost the game because they had three turnovers. Right, the Chargers have been shooting themselves in the foot. But they're the more talented team than the Denver Broncos. And they're coming off a bye. Denver last week fell apart offensively. They only scored three points against the Bills. And they only had nine first downs. You heard me right. Nine first downs. Understand, too, against Buffalo, that Denver defense that's supposed to be tough fell apart. They gave up 244 rushing yards. Right? Think about Charger backs. Think about Gordon. Think about Eckler. Right? I like the Chargers laying a point on the road over the Denver Broncos. Finally, I like the Pittsburgh Steelers at home 
getting two points against the Cleveland Browns. Right, let's revisit the first game. You know, the Steelers lost that first game with the Browns two weeks ago, the helmet swinging game, because they had four turnovers. Right? Statistically, they weren't outplayed. They turned over the ball. They gave away that game. Now they have a new QB, one who will probably throw less picks. Let me also say, too, Cleveland is missing Miles Garrett. Now understand, Garrett, to me, is a very impressive player who, at one time, was the first pick in the draft. He's a high-impact player. He has a major impact on that Cleveland defensive unit. He's suspended. He won't be able to play. Let me also say, too, that I know Cleveland's coming off of a game where they had over 460 yards of total offense and 31st downs. That game was against Miami. While Miami's defense is improving, let's not confuse their defense with the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. Understand, too, this elite unit, Steelers defensively are elite, are playing at home and they're getting points. Right? I'm expecting the Steelers who need this win to stay in the playoff race. I'm expecting the Pittsburgh Steelers to cover the two points they're getting at home against divisional rival Cleveland. So those are the games I like. To recap, I like the over 48 and a half points in the Tampa Jacksonville game. I like the Chargers on the road laying a point over Denver. And I like the Pittsburgh Steelers at home getting two points against the Cleveland Browns. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. If you want to comment on any of these games, if you want to alert us to other games or other information that you feel might be able to give the gamblers listening in here an edge on the casino, then I hope you leave that information in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by. Happy Thanksgiving.